Thanks to my friend Mary Jo giving me a whole bunch of mylar coated aluminum plastic film. Very thin, very reflective. I just got through redoing the uh, dish that I used to heat mostly my uh, shower water, sometimes cooking and sometimes washing the dishes. Let me take this old jug out. The framework is a very rigid dumpster dived plexiglass dome I got years ago. I cut a hole out of the center to allow rain uh, to go through because it used to puddle inside until I did that. And I simply put a bucket beneath it to capture it is one more source of captured rainwater. Okay, let's step back. I peeled off the old foil which had gotten tattered and kind of dull from, gosh, well over a year of service and sprayed the dish with the uh, adhesive and laid in this mylar film. Let's see if I can show just how shiny it is. It's remarkably reflective. And while I realize the wrinkles and the irregularities uh, dramatically reduce the, uh, the efficiency compared to a really smooth mirror surface, this is what I have to work with. And I don't know how to apply mylar film in a smooth uh, surface application. What this wonderful dish has done for me for quite some time as I put in there an Arizona green tea jug, spray painted black. This one the, is quite old, the paint's flaking off. I'm gonna go ahead and cave in and buy some uh, uh, black uh, spray paint at say Dollar Tree Big Lots, get it black again. But this little dish simply nestled into this lawn chair, which is also scrounged, allows me, except on really cold days when I wuss out and shower in the house, to heat my shower water. I stand in that uh, dish there this is a plastic a trough I dumped it ages ago. I stand in that capture the water I use for the gallon shower and then use that elsewhere where it's needed. What I'll be curious to find out is I guess mainly the lifespan of this mylar film. I suspect with Florida sunshine being so intense it's not going to last long. But it's a fun experiment which to me is half the fun of living from dumpsters and living from scrounging and recycled materials. There's no cost involved, almost no cost, a few cents for the spray adhesive. In the meantime, uh, the original version, which was made from foil from a Dollar Tree and the same glue, has saved me who knows how much in terms of my water bill, but also my electric bill by providing most of my daily showers. Sounds like we have a dog altercation. do a profile of this dish. This dish is not a true parabola, uh, but it was free. It's something to work with, and until I find something better to work with as a framework, I can see quite a few variations coming from this wonderful rigid old dish I've had for years. The idea of free heat for showering and cooking and washing dishes appeals to me greatly as a tightwad and as an environmentalist, and plus just the act of creating these things is in itself fun. Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye.